What's going on guys? My name is Rydon, and welcome back to Rydon Hobbies. In today's episode, I'm going to be painting an orc, but it's not just going to be any old orc. I, uh, I played a lot of World of Warcraft when I was in high school, and a little bit when I was in college, and I really liked the red orcs that were native to Draenor, uh, shy of Garrosh Hellscream, who I absolutely despise. Now, I wanted to talk about something while doing this video, since the, you know, general opinion on orcs is green is best, etc, etc, etc. I, uh, I really like red orcs, and I wanted to paint them, and since they're kind of a, <laughs> not a green, green skin, I wanted to talk a little bit about racial identity. Now, recently, I have been reading Catfish and Mandala, a two-wheeled voyage through the landscape and memory of Vietnam, a uh, novel by Andrew X. Fong. And I wanted to talk about this because I am an Asian American. I am Filipino American, but I kind of don't look like either. I'm not gonna put any pictures of myself up. They're on my Instagram if you really feel like digging, but that kind of doesn't matter. What matters is how one should racially identify. An experience I thought was solely mine that uh, Fom describes in the novel is the feeling of being one or the other or neither as he traveled through Mexico and the United States, he is often told, often asked, where are you from? Uh, who are your people? Etc. Etc. And, you know, he's from the U.S. But that's not what they mean. They mean, you're Asian. Where are you from? And that turns to Vietnam. So he goes to Vietnam expecting to finally be, you know, with his people and an experience that, you know, everyone wants. But from their perspective, he is an American. And I've recently come across that issue myself. I don't look like a Filipino or like a white person. Um... I look like both, but also like neither. I, I look just like both of my parents without looking like either of them in a kind of weird way. I was once recognized as a store by one of my father's acquaintances who asked me if I knew him. It was a surreal experience to be identified like that. Especially since I don't look like him. But I guess I do. But, so, like Fum, I've always been asked my whole life, who are you? Where are you from? A lot of people tend to assume that I'm Hispanic because I've got brown skin and I, I kind of don't have traditional, you know, Asian eyes in any way. Uh, I don't speak Tagalog. I don't. I I really just know, you know, that I like lumpia and sinigang, and that I don't like balot. <laughs> Those are the only things I really know. Uh, so I've always been, you know, whatever. But to all my acquaintances and friends and whomever I've met, they see me as the other. They see me as the Filipino. But recently I've started working in an industry that has a very large Asian demographic. And there are a lot of Filipino and other uh, different kinds of Asians in there. And to them, I look white. Uh, or sometimes Hispanic still, but never never like what I've always been told I am I never look Filipino so 
I am neither culturally nor appearance-wise a Filipino person. But I also... I'm, I'm not white. So I'm not recognizably an American from, from their perspective. So what am I? And, and this is something that's bothered me for a long time. So as I'm sitting here painting this red orc and his angry, <laughs> very cheaply made firing effect from his big shooter, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what am I? And what does racial identity even mean? Recently, uh, someone kind of went trending for a little bit because they posted that they identify as black. And, you know, obviously that's not how it works. You, you can't just choose to identify as something like that. That's... A, a people is not a skin color. And, and that's kind of the issue here is that I don't have I have neither a people nor a skin color that matches anyone I don't know what I am and it's fascinating to read Fom's book as he discovers who he is I haven't finished it yet but it is so far, a both funny, um, but also kind of enlightening, and uh, in my experience, very relatable book. I want to know who and what I am, and I wanted to talk about that with you. I wanted to see if anyone else feels this way, if if they have experience being an other. Now, obviously, in, according to the United States Census Bureau, I am uh, Asian slash Pacific Islander because, you know, they have to put me in a box. But I've, I've come rather comfortable to the fact that I'm not any of those things. I simply am. America, the United States, is supposed to be a melting pot culture. And I am something new. I am chemicals mixed in a way that have not been mixed before. I am a red orc in a world of greenskins. So while I don't fit the check boxes of what we know as normal or real, I do want to say that I'm still here, and I'm still proud to be me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is obviously a small channel. I'm not doing anything too crazy, uh, but your support does mean a lot. I am just doing this for fun. I can't monetize this channel in any way yet. It's still way too small. But I'm just doing this to do this, and I've been wanting to make this video for a while. The video on racial identity has been... Uh, before I decided to do a mini painting YouTube channel, before I got into the mini painting hobby back in August, I wanted to create a video essay channel where I related my geeky hobbies back to my topic. And this racial identity one has been one I've been tossing around for a long time. Uh, obviously, the presentation and everything uh, I've been working on. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I haven't finished Fom's novel, but as soon as I, you know, heard about it and how it related to this topic, I wanted to 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 buy it, and I wanted to read it, and it's it's so far been good but it's just hard to find time to read 
uh, in, in my industry I have a lot I have to practice off hours and then uh, also painting making videos I've been pretty busy but thank you so much for watching guys again please be sure to like and subscribe um, and uh, I'd like you to do me a favor I'd like you to be comfortable with whoever you are and don't feel the need to match all the check boxes that the world puts on you and more than anything, I want you to live strong and ride on.